We're in a new fossil lab, long time in coming. I've been incubating on the campus in various makeshift labs since uh, we had no fossil lab, a place to clean, prepare, study fossils of all sizes. For the last uh, close to 25 years, we had been in an old building on the University of Chicago campus called the Accelerator Building. I led my first major expedition to the Sahara. And I guess I never, I mean, I guess I never thought, I didn't have time to think about what would happen if I was successful. But I did, I was very successful. And I had 20 tons of bones headed back towards campus. There was simply no room on campus anymore. In all those years that I've been here, 35 years, we have more or less committed and or in fact physically filled in every available spot on campus. And then they gave me this address, right? opposite the historic Schultz building in the neighborhood of Washington Park. A straight shot from my old lab on the campus and really a future area of expansion of the university. Um, with the help of a lot of undergraduate volunteers and the staff here, we've been uh, packing things and organizing and stabilizing specimens so they would survive the trip over here. We really literally had tens of thousands of specimens that, that we've had had to move and safeguard. And as they came in one by one, as we've started to take lift them up and put them back onto the shelves, once we built the shelves here, so far it looks like there have been very few instances of, of damage from the move. I guarantee you that the day those doors open and people come in here, this is gonna be a fossil lab. The first thing you're gonna see is the bone gallery, a long hallway lined with glass cabinets filled with thousands of bones of animals, every kind you can imagine. The next room, very important, the prep lab, where we take the specimens from the field and clean the bones out, the fossils. This is where the fossils become available for research. You come at the end of the hall to a door that opens into the learning room. Paleontology and, and the work that a lab like this produces is that um, on one level, this, this often serves as a, uh, as a welcoming gateway for people to be exposed to science. But we're a University of Chicago, of the city, and we need to share uh, our bright future with those closest to us in the communities right around the university. It is not only the best fossil lab, I think, on the planet. I think it's a lab in a neighborhood. It's inviting to the community. We can teach the neighborhood schools, an outreach program on fossils or the parks or whatever. And we intend to do that.